YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we have something really cool to show you all. Uh, this is something that I have always wanted and now we finally have it. Of course, I'm talking about my new Staccato C2 in two-tone black and gold with the mini stack port package from Vulcan Machine Works. So as always guys, I like to tell you how I go about getting these products in for review. Um, I've always really liked the look of the titanium nitrate coated barrels in black guns. Um, I think back to the Salient Arms tier one Glock 19 days. Um, now with me not being a fan of the Glock grip angle, I wanted to do something similar, but with my Staccato C2. So I reached out to Jeremy over at Vulcan Machine Works with the idea of creating a Vulcan EDC package. Um, I wanted this to be a black gun with gold accents. I already have a Staccato P with the full stack port porting package, so I figured we should get a C2 to match. Um, Jeremy liked the idea and made it even better with additional touches of gold that I will show you here shortly. Um, Jeremy was nice enough to complete all this work free of charge for us to produce this video with and to use the gun for in future content. Okay, so before we move on to the range portion, let's go over the specs of what we have done to this Staccato C2. The awesome crew over at Vulcan Machine Works did a complete overhaul on this gun for us. The first thing we will start with is the bread and butter of the build, their mini stack port porting package exclusively for the Staccato C2. This porting package, in my opinion, is one of the cleanest on the market. Um, the way it is done looks OEM from factory, which I think is awesome. They port both the barrel and slide and then recoat the slide for you with a Cerakote color or pattern of your choice. Additionally, I opted for a titanium nitrate coating of the barrel. Um, Jeremy then also had the safeties, hammer, and slide stop coated in the titanium nitrate to match. I think this definitely gave the gun the finishing touches it needed. I also purchased an Atlas Gunworks trigger in gold that Vulcan Machine Works fitted to this gun. If you're familiar with the channel, then you know that extreme shooters grips are my go-to for 2011 stippling. Um, I actually took one of my grips from another C2 that they did with their tree bark pattern. Um, that's my favorite. Unfortunately, it has been discontinued, so I had to utilize that grip from a previous one. Um, now we are calling this our Vulcan EDC package, so of course we had to go with the Hollow Sun 507C with the ACSS Vulcan reticle from Primary Arms as our red dot. Um, lastly, I threw on a Pistol Gear Magwell and a trusty Surefire X300. Now I know there are going to be questions about the coating. I'm honestly really impressed with it. Um, this has held up really well. After about 500 rounds through this gun, this is what my barrel looks like after a light cleaning. Earlier you heard me mention that Jeremy added a special touch. Um, if you notice here, Jeremy even coated three of my magazines in that titanium nitrate so that they would all match up perfectly. Man, Jeremy, you and your team definitely killed this dude. It came out so clean. I can't say thank you enough. Okay, now what you all came here to see, the range footage. Um, for this video, Jade and I drove out to one of our shooting spots here in Vegas, and like we always do, we recorded our first shots through the gun, so here is that footage now. All right guys, the day is finally here. These are going to be my first rounds through this uh, C2 build from Vulcan Machine Works. Got the black and gold going on, even got the titanium nitrate gold mags here. So running some 124s. Hollow Sun with the primary arms, uh, Vulcan ACSS. Let's see how it does. Here we go. Love the stack port. Here we go. Woohoo! Yeah, man, this thing does not move. I'm just following that Chevron the entire time. Uh, definitely feels great. I got the Atlas trigger in here, so that's definitely something new for me. Uh, I am liking it. Let's go take a look at this group real quick. So I haven't even done a proper zero yet. Uh, I want to get the first rounds through the gun before we zero. But yeah, dude, I'll take that all day long. So I'm gonna have Jade get up here and shoot it and we'll see what she thinks. All right, we got Jade up now. She's going to try the C2 with the uh, stack ports from Vulcan Machine Works. Go for it. Thoughts? A little trigger freeze. 
trigger is a little bit different from what we've been shooting recently, but um, once I got the hang of it, it was really nice. It, the gun feels great. Um, I'm liking it so far. As you just saw, this thing is a flat shooter. Um, now that we had our first rounds out of the way, I got a proper 10 yard zero, and then I shot a grouping to verify. From there, I went right into my favorite drill, the build drill, but from concealment. Got a 213 from concealment, clean on A zone. Had a little messed up grip, let's go again, stand by. Man, that was a good draw and everything, trigger freeze though. Uh, 219, first shot was a 112 clean. Let's go again. I know I can get a sub two from concealment. Stand by. Nice. A zone, clean, seven yards. First shot was a 9.9 nine for a total time of 1.76. One second. Now it took me a second to get used to the Atlas Gunworks trigger. Um, it had a little bit longer of a reset than my other Staccato C2, so I'll probably adjust that over travel screw to match that down the road, not really a big deal. Um, as I got more rounds down range, I was able to score a clean sub two second build drill on A zone steel, which is always satisfying. Now for the next drill, I actually tried something new out on the range. Uh, we ended up making this into a challenge on Instagram. Um, I set up a C zone steel target seven yards away and then an A zone steel target seven yards away from that target. Uh, additionally, that target was also seven yards away from me. So it kind of created like this little seven yard triangle drill. Uh, my goal was to shoot this drill under two seconds. Um, I ran the drill a couple of times on my main camera and then I recorded one um, for Instagram with my cell phone where I was able to shoot the drill cleanly. So here's that footage now. Two eighteen, stand by. Two oh six. All right, fam, got a challenge for you, bud. C zone steel, seven yards away, shooting from concealment on the buzzer. Two rounds. Transition to your A zone steel target, which is also seven yards away, and two more rounds. I uh, got a little triangle drill, if you will. Um, the goal of the drill is to shoot it from concealment and sub two seconds. So uh, I'm rocking the QVO Wingman appendix rig, a Staccato C2 that has been done over by Vulcan Machine Works with their stack board package, uh, as well as this entire black and gold Gucci build. Optic is a Holosun 507C with the primary arms ACSS Vulcan reticle. Let's shoot it for time, here we go. time I got, thank you, is a 193. And let's see, two shots right here, up in the neck on this bolt, one, two. And the other two over here on the A zone, head and shoulder, hey -oh. Woo! First shot was a 102, total time of 195. Let me see that real quick. Coming up here, let's take a look at the shots. Got two in the A zone right there of that C target. And then I got another two right there. Yeah, man. Now I'm sure somebody has already come up with this drill or something similar. However, we are calling this our seven yard triangle drill. Um, definitely try it out next time you're on the range and tag us if you post it on social media. Uh, we'd love to see who else has taken a run at it. Um, this drill was great for me to really see how easy it is to track that red dot utilizing that ACSS Vulcan reticle. Um, if you're not familiar, the reticle has an outside ring that will guide your line of sight back to that center chevron. Um, this is helping you ensure that you have a proper sight picture before firing. Additionally, I did some shooting on the move, which is also a great way to see how well you can track that dot. The combination of a good grip, the mini stack ports from Vulcan Machine Works, and the Vulcan ACSS reticle in this 507C optic just make it really easy to do. Um, now, you guys are all aware that I've been using the new Blue Line 90 grain plus P 9mm ammunition from Ultimate Ammo. Um, I wanted to show you all on camera how well this Staccato C2 with the mini stack ports functions with this ammunition. So here's that footage now.
All right, guys, you all know I've switched over to the 90 grain plus P ammunition from Ultimate Ammo. Um, I have this mag loaded up. First four rounds are actually some 124 ball ammo, and then the next four are gonna be that 90 grain blue line ammo. And I just wanna see uh, feeling the difference side by side between the 124s and 90 grain with the stack board. So here we go, stand by. Definitely a completely different uh, recoil impulse. Um, it's cool because these ports really make this 90 grain plus P stuff. Uh, they just work really well together. And yeah, gun stays super flat and had no problems tracking this uh, Chevron and the ACSS reticle whatsoever. I'm gonna have Jade try it now. All right, we got Jade up now. She is going to try the 124 and 90 grain side by side. First four rounds, some 124 ball ammo, and the second set of four is that 90 grain plus P blue line ammunition from Ultimate Ammo. Go for it. Right, so seeing it from the side and not behind the gun, I could definitely see uh, a little more violent action with the cycling of the slide, but how did it feel? Uh, it felt great. Um, I was able to track the dot through all uh, four, the first four and the last four. Okay. Um, I did feel a little bit of snappiness on the last four, but it wasn't too crazy to where I couldn't track it. Gotcha, so a little more recoil at the 90 grain, which is to be expected, yes. but stack boards did its job and you can still track the dot? Yeah. Cool. Now, speaking of ammunition, I wanted to show the difference in recoil with different grains of 9mm ammunition, so here is that footage. Alright, first five rounds are some 115s. Second set of five are some 124s. Last set of five are the 90 grain plus P blue line ammo from Ultimate Ammunition. Now to take it even a step further for you guys, I decided to shoot a stock C2 without any porting um, side by side up against uh, this C2 that has the Vulcan Machine Works mini stack ports. All right, guys, one thing I wanted to do for you all while I'm out here on the range uh, was shoot this C2 Vulcan Machine Works build up against a stock C2. Uh, this is one that we have with a threaded barrel, no porting. Uh, I am running a full-size P grip on here. This is the gun that we shoot suppressed, but I wanted to shoot them side by side. I get a lot of questions about uh, does porting a, a staccato really make the recoil much different? Um, and I think the best way to show that is just shooting side by side. Um, I haven't shot them side by side yet, so my first reaction is gonna be what you guys see right here on camera. Additionally, I am using the plus P 90 grain ammo, the blue line stuff from uh, Ultimate Ammunition. Um, but yeah, I get a lot of questions about like, hey, why would you need to make uh, a nine mil shoot any flatter? It's already, you know, a pretty flat shooting gun. My response to that is why would you not want to make a flat shooting gun even more flat? Um, but just my two cents, and that's why I go with stuff like this Vulcan Machine Works stack port. Anyway, enough talking. I'm gonna shoot five rounds of the 90 grain plus P uh, through the stack port, and then I will shoot the uh, stock C2 without any porting. Here we go, stand by. That entire string, super fast cadence, and I'm able just to track the dot the whole time. And the stock, no ported, C2 with threaded barrel, here we go. So definitely that first round threw me a little bit, not anything crazy. Um, I can track the dot, but it's coming back down. Meaning, so that first shot, it comes up and then it returns right to zero because of the grip angle and me driving the gun forward. But I'm definitely noticing I'm having to uh, drive the gun forward more to maintain the dot cycling so I can continue to see it. So uh, don't get me wrong guys, you don't have to get ports. But to me, I like to give myself every advantage, especially with my, uh, my carry gun. Um, so nothing wrong with a stock C2, I love it, they're great. However, a lot of people ask me why I do all this stuff and get things ported. Uh, that's the reason right there. We'll do some slow-mo comparisons I'll have Jade try it out as well, uh, just to further illustrate this. All right, we got Jade up now. Jade being a newer shooter, I definitely want her to try it out too, give her honest opinion about it. So uh, first five rounds, again, 90 grain plus P ammunition, blue line from Ultimate Ammo, gonna run it in the stack port with the uh, ports, that way you can try it out, go for it. All right, go ahead and set that one down. Go ahead and load the stock C2 with threaded barrel, no ports. 
and do the same five rounds and tell me what you think. All right, Pepsi challenge, side by side. Oh, it's really hard to say. Um, they both feel great. I think I do like the porting better, um, but well, they both feel fantastic. So you like the porting better, why is that? Feel For like you as a new shooter, what are you noticing? Um, the dot doesn't, I mean, it stays in the window, but it doesn't move as much as it does with the non-ported for me. Gotcha. I can track both, but it's, it's easier on the ported one. Copy that. Five rounds, 90 grain, plus P, blue line ammo, stack ports. Five rounds, 90 grain, plus P ammo, stock. Now I think we can all agree that there is definitely a significant difference, uh, especially when you take a look at that footage in slow motion. I'm happy to say that we ran about 500 rounds through this gun and we did not experience any issues or malfunctions. Um, like I said earlier, I will be adjusting that over travel screw to bring down that reset just a little bit to my liking. Now my overall thoughts on this Vulcan EDC package by Vulcan Machine Works. Uh, Jeremy and his team just put out solid work, guys. If you've had the chance to engage with them on social media, you'll quickly see that they are down to earth people and enjoy supporting others in the community. There was a lot of work that went into this gun and it required a good amount of time to ensure that everything got done correctly. Um, Jeremy kept me up to date and in the loop regarding the time frame so that we could get this video produced on schedule. Additionally, this is probably one of the sexiest looking guns that I now own. So Jeremy, again, thank you. Um, now I want to take a minute to answer a couple of questions um, that I know I'm going to get down below in the comment section. The holster that we were using in this video is the QBO Tactical Wingman Appendix Rig. Um, I own QBO Tactical here in Vegas. We manufacture holsters and gear. This one is from my Staccato C2 with a Surefire X300 and is wrapped in the Bougie G yellow fabric overlay. You can find those on our website, QBOTactical.com. The next question I know I will get will be in regards to how does this porting package compare to others. Um, I recommend checking out the Battle of the Ports video that we did showcasing the stack ports from Vulcan Machine Works for more information on that. Well guys, that's going to wrap up our review of our Vulcan EEC package featuring the mini stack ports from Vulcan Machine Works. Again, huge shout out to Jeremy and his team. We greatly appreciate the support with our content. If you are looking for a way to make your flat shooting gun shoot even flatter, definitely check out his website. Uh, Jeremy has done a major overhaul on his website and created a staccato customizer. This allows you to build up your staccato with the options you prefer. Uh, things like opticuts, porting, metal grips, stippling, uh, coating, etc. They have put a lot of of time and effort into their work and it definitely shows. Thank you for checking out our video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up down below as that does help out the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. As always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.